What's going on, everybody? Jeff here. Today we're going to be playing some more Madden NFL 17. Uh, it's week 16. We're playing the uh, conference rival to the Packers. Um, I don't know how this one's going to go. This one's going to be interesting. Really, I really think it is. If they start getting out to a big lead and it gets out of hand, I'm going to bench my starters. Because there's no way in hell... I'm going to let my guys get hurt right before the playoffs. Because right now we're already locked into a, uh, I think we're wild card, wild card. So we're in the playoffs. So it's not going to be that big of a problem if I lose the next two games. My goal is to at least win one of the next two. This game and the next one, week 17. But if you can do me a favor first, guys, you can go down and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It means a lot. And let's get started. Ready. Hope you guys' day has been going good and your week's been good. Uh, I don't know if anybody's watched it or not yet. If you want to, you know, go to my channel and look up at the uh, new videos I got going on. I got uh, Project Cars kind of getting introduced into Project Cars before the Project Cars 2 comes out later this year. So I'm doing some video series on all the cars on there. Uh, it's ju I just put up my first video yesterday on Monday. So, go check it out. I'm, re I'm really having fun with it. Um, this video, I think, will go up on Thursday of this week. Or Friday. Cause I, yeah, probably Friday. And then, yeah. So, let's get Hello, started everyone. in this game and stop everyone. blabbing. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. Well, if you're a fan of bad weather games, and we got a good one for you here. The field oh, is covered it's snowing, in snow, I guarantee it. and that figures to make things very difficult for the players throughout this game. We'll see how they handle it. It's the Vikings going up against the Packers. The frozen it's snowing. This is my first Packers snow game, today. guys. As we send you up to a snowy Wisconsin. Oh, On the shit. Call, you're a Brandon Godden. This should be interesting. Larry, there's just something that feels right about a snowy day for oh, football in Wisconsin. Adjust my mic a little bit. That's what we have here on the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field in Let's skip this shit. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Minnesota Vikings and the Excuse Green me, guys, if I'm, in, if I'm going to be sniffling in this video, I'm not. Nose is really stopped up today. I don't know why. Let's get started. Penalty. Good. Keep 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 getting the penalties. Well shit. Let me up that fast. Good. 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 Where are they at? Thirty nine? Well, uh, let's we'll see. Load left block. Load left block. Who's hit from as far as 58 in his career? This will be from 56 yards out. Oh, he missed it by, a, by quite a bit. There we go. Gives me some damn good field advantage here. And there is nothing easy about being a kicker on a day like this. Yeah, I tell you, not only is the footing tough in the snow, but kicking that ball is like kicking Let's a rock. See. Very difficult to get any sort well, of feel. You know, start out slow, kicks. inside run. See when you want to flip the play, go the other way. The first carry now for Adrian Peterson. Yeah, and very decent yards. Room there. He Three. did get a couple up to the 49. Tackle there by Clay Matthews. It's really Try it simple again. to say that they know their identity, that they are a passing team. But one of the reasons that they're so successful, they know how to mix in the run and make sure that they keep the defense off balance and not able to just oh. say, let's go get the quarterback and disrupt things. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets Damn. up a third and oh, inches yeah, situation. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front, they moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. Here's Peterson. Bulldozes past him. Adrian Peterson. Touchdown, Vikings. No touchdown, baby. No touchdown. Oh, yeah. We score first. Mm -hmm. That was stupid. Oh, yeah. 
Well, they were just hoping that run would pick up the first. They got the whole enchilada. And I'm so used to teams on third down, doesn't matter how far you right. need for a first down, throwing the ball. Instead, they run it, and as you said, picked up the first down, and then some, and then some. <laughs> In fact, everything all the way That worked. I can do it there. We keep that up through this game. Shit. Okay. The Vikings Stick, offense keep it on the ground. out to take over, and they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, yeah. isn't it? And which team okay. has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> if you love pressure, I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. On first and ten, Bridgewater. God. Free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You know it's not an easy job to good catch play. passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Okay, right. On second down, Bridgewater again. On the catch, it's Jerry. It's fucking fine. hold. I guarantee it. Damn. Down, but not before he gets into <sighs> territory. Holy yep. Offense. I knew it. Jesus, man. So holding by the offense and maybe now got to shift up what you want to do on the playbook. Yeah, definitely. Change what you're doing in the playbook, but boy, the advantage shifts to the guys on defense, doesn't it? Long yard situations, they often become bolder. Bridgewater to throw it. It's caught. Michael Pruitt. And he'll get it up near the 35 right Come on. to 34 here. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. And he's got Kyle <laughs> Rudolph. Rudolph, baby. 17, and it'll give him a first down. Kyle Rudolph doing his job and making another nice catch. Come on, it's the month of December. He knew he was going to be there. Right? Yeah, man. I knew you were going to go there. <laughs> First down, here's a run with Peterson. Yeah. Able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him a couple on the carry the, there. In the first. And eight. Let's skip it. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter Ooh, begins inside with the Vikings zone. holding the football. They've got a second down Keep and running. eight to start Keep things running. out. They come out here in the eye. Again, Peterson. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Give him six on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. This drive is turning into an Quick extended one, and, and the guy can't do it. Do it. He's do it. More like do it. Body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys get to tackle him. Really, Stephon man? Diggs, his intended receiver, and that'll bring up a fourth down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear yeah, my old not coach's playing. voice no, ringing in my ears right now. Not. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying try to get those rack yards before he perfect. secured it. Not happening. Now the fourth year man, Jeff Lock on to put it away. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Shit. Packers bring pressure. God damn it. Now it's picked dashing through the snow. The 20. Stupid. 10, 5, and they Got to push X again. Packer touchdown. Finally 
as you well know, every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. It's good. Damn it. We're all tied at seven apiece. Ridiculous. Able to get the pressure, get a paw on it, knock it down, and then go and grab it and take it into the end zone. What a play. This will be taken about the 12. Oh, what a move. Oh, look at that. Oh, uh, look at him turn. He's got daylight. The third. Finally. Ted. Touchdown, <laughs> Vikings. Jarek Finally. I told y'all if you watch the last week, one of these times I'm gonna break away. away. He finally did it. Yes. Special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he what? is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I do everything. I did it again, guys. To keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. All right. Jump the next play. I'm having all kinds of mistakes in this game. Damn it. again after the kick return TD here's yet another kickoff this one taken just inside the 10 and a good effort pretty good turn there gets him across the 30 to almost the got it again line. and now out comes Minnesota and a tight game after punting last time see if they can get some to get focused boys track. as they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency. I swear to God, if he doesn't catch the ball. But they have to do it without letting panic. And the ball has been in his fucking hands. Three times, two, two, three times now, and he's dropped all of them. Stupid. A second down throw for Bridgewater. And he comes back with one complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Come on. Third and short yardage. Bridgewater. Over the middle here to Rudolph. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Bridgewater on first down. Fuck. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, I'm going to resist laughing just because his name is Ha Ha. The Ha Ha Clinton did <laughs> excellent coverage there. Man coverage knocked that one away. Real name Hashan. He's from down in your neck of the woods in Orlando. Yeah, went to Dr. Phillips High School, and then matriculated at the University of Alabama and played at a, a super high level. Of both Good places, catch. He's doing the exact same thing now in the NFL. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. They go play action here on first down. And Fuck. incomplete crisis averted. Oh my Almost God. Picked. Instead, second down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it. I don't know what is going on with me today. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. Bridgewater, incomplete. Right side, the tight end Rudolph. The reception good for seven. It's third down. first down here before he goes down at the 26. We heard them talk before the game about utilizing the intermediate passing game this week. It works for them there. They move the chains. And we saw them work on it in practice as well. And most teams take a period at a time to work on different things. They put a couple of periods of work into the intermediate passing game. Damn it. We know exactly why. Fucking fell down. Man. And they were able to take advantage of it. 
It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. On second down, Bridgewater again. That is caught right at the 10 yard line. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. A first down throw for Bridgewater. This will be caught at about the six. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. I know they okay. have time to go. Right I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Just let it run out. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Lambo following these words. Jeez, this game is crazy. Hmm. Need ISO. A reminder coming up at halftime while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Larry Ridley will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Where are you, Orlando? Please, don't be so soft. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second yeah. touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier, was bidding for a second. Can be sneak. Just run off some time first. That way we don't have to deal with them, hopefully, coming back down and scoring again. Hopefully they'll just run the clock out. Oh, yeah, they're knocking on the door as they come to we'll the, have the ball line back here like on third and goal for a minute and 15 seconds. On the sneak is Bridgewater. Shit. No gain on the play and what to do now on fourth and goal. I'm kicking the field goal. Period. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back field out goal. onto the field for the defense. Now Blair Walsh for the Viking field goal. From the right hash and a bit of a tight angle. Got it. And Lutz puts this one through. Good job. And with that, they'll take a two point lead here in quarter number two. Got it back. That a boy. That a boy. Hell yes. Harrison Rhodes. Following the interception, here's Bridgewater. The left side caught by Diggs. 23 Hell yards yeah. on the play. Really nice connection on the corner route. This is a play where the receiver wants to set up the defensive back Hell by moving yeah. him inside and then breaking back to the corner. Bridgewater now. That is caught inside the five. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. And quickly they get to the line. Here's Bridgewater. Oh yeah! Quick strike, baby. Woo! Kyle Rudolph, his 11th touchdown of the year, and the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, go. but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't there want to give up go. anything on the other side. No. Hell yeah. Give me that ball back. Turn left. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in corner number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. Yeah, and no I'm not run running back that shit here. Out. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. Okay. They have the lead back now. To the be looking for some so separation some here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. 
but in order to get the separation that you just talked about, yeah. change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit. Right back a little bit. Lean forward a little bit in my chair. And then let's get this game going. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. All right, come on. They run again with Peterson. And, he'll and he'll be That's taken right. down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain of 39 that time. Second 20 plus yard run. Name dropping here. Let's show off a little knowledge, right? The A gap, the gap between the center and the guard on either side, right? Both sides. Control that. You're gonna control an inside running game. And he had to feel satisfied because he hit that gap, broke the contact. He loves that. That's the best part, right? That's what he's gonna ask the coach to run back on, on film. Let me see that one more time. Show that again, coach. Look how my legs kept churning. I just kept moving, and he did to the tune of a big game. Okay. See if they stay on the ground for a second down. If you know me, I'm going for digs again. They'll try to throw here now. Bridgewater. And this one hauled in by Rudolph. Give him 10 yards on that one, and yeah. that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful? You're losing. Come on, boys. Come on. Like he is to not play too much zone. Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just yeah. brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Second down, Bridgewater. Touchdown again. Hell yes. End zone touchdown, Minnesota. Kyle Rudolph. His second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe Shit. he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues oh, to go. That's that fine. He's going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the... Ooh, 10-yard penalty on the offense. Ha, 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 ha. Holding. Ooh, another penalty. Oh, negative yards. Man. What is going on with these guys? Jeez. Here's Steve Weatherford now as he'll kick it away for the second time. I'm going to be kicking over this way. All right, let's go. I thought he was. Take it in at the 22. Oof. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. Broke one of them. And it'll be Viking football here as they take possession. And some time here to focus on Kyle Rudolph as he heads okay, back let's go out some there. Different plays. And this is how the game has trended for him numbers-wise. He's really picked it up. And i, I got to be honest, I don't know schematically. This is where I need you. What does the defense need to do to get back to that start that they had on him? You've got to harass him early in his route. Right off the line of scrimmage, someone needs to be there. So it's not what we call a free <laughs> release, where he just gets into the route so easily. Because once he builds up momentum and speed, forget it, you're done. Knock him off of that. Yes, guys, I know more than just one play. Sure Promise. Person there I do that play as well. on the... Too big and too strong, usually. For that play I've been playing most of the game. It's always been my best play. Bridgewater on first down. Toward the sideline. Ah. Look at that catch. Dragging the toes. And that's going to be a first down. Well done. So deja vu all over again. Another good week. And sometimes maybe because the defense doesn't look that bad. Maybe this is just good offense beating good defense in his case. I like that because we always want to point out that there's a breakdown or someone made a mistake or there was an error. And he will <laughs> score. We got a double touchdown. Go no, we got a tackle. No, 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 no. Touchdown number eight on the year, and the Vikings are going to add onto their lead. Walsh now for the PAT. Booyah. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. 
Come on, Packers. Dude, you gotta do better than this. Well, let's just give him 15 free yards. Okay. I'll take the ball back. I don't I don't mind. I don't mind one bit actually. <laughs> Just to be honest. Yeah. Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Second down following the run. Come on. Some runs are blocked so well. You almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front. Come on. Really well done. What in the hell? Yeah, they'll take what it was that? at the 31 yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. A lot of times, as AP goes, so goes the team. Okay. He's done well, the team's done well. And usually, when he does that well, other people do. In addition, because now you can open up other things in your Come offense. Come on, the now. bottom line is he is option number one, and that's usually their best option. He just absolutely can brutalize a defense. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It's funny throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability My to catch dogs the are in there fighting. Their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one on one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw shedding those tackles and that's what they're used to doing it is and it starts at the beginning of the play one-on-one -on -one matchup with someone Fuck. trying to cover them but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball they think they're going to win those too well the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly well. a big reason why they have the lead but now here third quarter maybe go to the run game a little more yeah perhaps i mean after that incompletion look credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play maybe try and run the football a little bit more in this spot <laughs> Timing right, right there, baby. Trying to get one shot. in here before the quarter breaks. Yeah, got. Back now at Lambo. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the somewhere. parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. First down and ten now for the offensive group. Bridgewater gives to his tailback Peterson. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Four yards remaining now on second down. Come on, guys. Time running out here on the play clock. On second down, Peterson. They juked him. And another juke. And Jesus, and a fucking flag. The 30. <sighs> Jesus, man. So he got his hands a little too far outside. The ref caught him through the flag. Peterson. Oh, a little 360. Oh, <laughs> Call an uh. eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle oh, really? or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Third down, it's Adrian Peterson. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Third and one. Come on, guys. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. They go play. Look at Gigs, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked up. Oh. And he will Two games in a row. To the 30-yard line. So they get the takeaway, but that's just step one. They still have a lot of work to do. But they don't want to focus on that now. Now it's about getting the ball in the end zone and hoping they can. Well, let's see what my defense can do.
All right. And now out comes Minnesota. Run the ball. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The men here, they need to keep Wilbur Miss. Then they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the mm. bad. I like that even better. The play clock's running down. Another tote for the workhorse here this afternoon. Peterson, time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. Go to Old Faithful. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he'll be hit as he releases it. Go. And that'll fall incomplete. Boy, he just threw an interception last drive. Nearly another pick. And things aren't very even right now, are they? It's a little bit sloppy out there, isn't it? It's kind of the difference between driving on those paved roads and those country roads that have those <laughs> potholes in them, isn't it? Because that's the way this game's going right now. A lot of bouncity bounce to it. You spent some time on some Tennessee country roads. I, I certainly have. Plenty of family back there. God love them. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. That'll be out of bounds. Ha, and how three yard was line. that? Oh, yeah. They'll say the three yard line. That's where they spot it. They ain't coming back. We got this. Oh, yeah. And now out comes Minnesota. Right. They got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Yeah. Big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys. And now the Packers going to take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth right. quarter of play. I'm not going to run the clock up. Run the score the defense, up. They got a I'm just going to breathe. I'm just going to kneel. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Just teams. QB now. Let's go. What? The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. All right, let's do this. Maybe Neil. Game in hand, the offense takes the lead. All right, we got to waste some, we'll waste a few seconds here. So. scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And he is going to lose yardage here. Losing All right, two that yards worked. that time and now it's fourth down. Yeah, let me pump out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a and really the, nice defensive <laughs> play. It's awful fun to watch. Even time clock in like sink man i mean they're synced so anyways guys i greatly appreciate y'all hey, y'all watching probably gonna get a penalty here at the end of the game i think i'm just gonna kick a field goal for the hell of it that way we don't get a penalty Hold on. appreciate you guys watching hit that like button hit the subscribe button we'll see you later booyah guys Y'all have a great night. Damn good win. I will talk to you next time. Later, guys. Well, partner, there's something special about a game in the snow. Just always fun in these elements, although a little chillier up here in the open-air booth. The only thing that's not fun is that we got the 
mid-game notification that our flight was canceled tonight, but we'll deal with that later. It was really a fun game to watch, though. It was, and there is something special about games played in the snow because the element of surprise really kicks in. You don't know how they're going to handle the ball, if someone's going to make a dramatic play just out of nowhere, and all of a sudden it just changes the course of things. But a big shout-out to our crew to make sure that we were comfortable up here, as comfortable as one could be in these elements. They took care of us and made sure we were dressed properly. Properly. So for Minnesota, the win will be their 12th now on the campaign. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Chicago Bears. Meanwhile, for the Packers, this was basically just an exhibition game for them as they'd already clinched home field advantage. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel up to Detroit to take on the Lions.